Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So today, we're gonna show you our take on a project that we've been really intrigued by for a while, but every time we wanted to move forward with, it just didn't feel right, and that's a lamp terrarium. Before we really wanted to use this container, and for a while, we just, every time we got close to starting the project, something didn't feel right. And after a bit, we realized that a lot of the issues we were having was because the cork was blocking the light that would be going into it, and the glass just really isn't the most clear. So even though it has a nice big lid so you can get some nice hardscaping pieces in here, it just didn't quite feel right to move forward with this container. But that's where this container comes in and kind of saves the day because the issues we had with this one, we don't have it here because it's got just nice clear glass all around. So we have a really easy time seeing into it. The light's still gonna pass down into the container and it still has a wide enough opening that I can actually put rocks and stuff in it. So we're really excited to take this and make a terrarium out of the bottom of it. Some of the different things that we're gonna be using for our project and supplies really is first and foremost, a bottle lamp kit. These are nice because the way they route the wire through the side of the lamp helps so you don't have to try to run electricity through the middle of your terrarium. After that, we did get a lampshade and we chose this one because it has a nice foil lining on the inside and we're hoping that helps redirect a little bit more light from the light bulb above down into the terrarium below. We are gonna be painting this with some spray paint a little bit later on just so it's not quite a sterile and white lampshade. In order to help separate some of the layers inside of the terrarium, we have some fiberglass window screen, a razor that I'm gonna be using to cut that with, and not pictured here, we have our tropical terrarium substrate mix, courtesy of Serpa Designs. We have some activated carbon as well as expanded clay pebbles. Besides that, in order to go on top of those layers, we have some hardscape pieces such as this rock, and we have some plants that we're gonna be putting along with that, as well as some moss. Depending on how you go about this project, you may have a few different requirements with these. And for us, we did also need a diamond coated drill bit in order to drill a hole in this glass lid here to mount the bottle lamp kit to. But if you're just going into the top of a bottle, you might not have this issue. We also have some corks, much for the same reason of the way we're going about mounting stuff to this lid in particular. And personally, the things that came with the kit, they didn't fit the best on most of the bottles we tested them with. So if you have a cork that came from the bottle you wanna use it in, I'd suggest using the original anyways. When it came to drilling out the hole in this lid, I ran into a little bit of an issue. I had tested out using this drill bit on like two different bottles before I ever tried on this lid. And it just so happens that the, the, the one part of this lid that I need to drill through was exceptionally thin and broke. So I had to go with my backup plan, which was using a diamond cutoff wheel to actually chop the entire just tip of this lid off. That way we can feed a cork all the way down through. When we were grabbing corks, we kind of expected to have some bad luck. So we had one that would work for our backup plan. The only thing is I needed to sand it down a bit. So I drilled a hole into it, that way I could mount the cork onto a screw and then put that into the screwdriver so it made sanding it evenly all the way around a heck of a lot easier. So I'm just sanding the entire cork a bit so it fits through the neck of the lid so that way we can put that in there and mount the lamp to it. Once you have your lamp base, however you're going to seat it, now comes the part where you're gonna to have to wire it. Now, different lamp kits can be wired differently. For instance, this one has a little bit of black indication on this and no indication on here. So make sure you read your instructions on how the wires on your kit determine whether or not they're neutral. This kit also has us make a special knot on the inside. This helps to alleviate any pressure off of the actual electrical connection in here and it puts it on the knot instead should anything tug on the cord. When you connect these wires, it's also good to wrap the wire around the screw in the same direction as when you're tightening the screw. So if you're tightening the screw, it's always gonna be righty-tighty or clockwise. That way when you tighten it, it kind of cinches down the wire as well with the screw while you're tightening it. In this particular kit, the wire that I got that had a little bit of black on the tip is going to be going to the silver and the opposite wire that has nothing on it is going to be going to the brass. We do also have a link to this specific kit in the description. 
So I redid the knot because there was a little bit of extra slack and I didn't really, didn't quite really turn out. I had to look up to make sure because the instructions on here for that knot weren't the clearest. And now I'm gonna be pushing the cap down in. One thing is when, before you do this, make sure you're positive you're ready for this to be snapped down because it's really hard to get this part back off again once you snap it back, once you snap it in. There we go. Before I actually begin putting anything in here, I am going to make my separation screen out of some fiberglass window screen. A lot of containers, you can kind of just set them on top of the screen and use that as a template to see how large you need to cut it. But because this one's a little unique in size, before this, I tested it with a piece of paper. Which I decided I actually wanted to be a little bit larger than the paper. And luckily, it just so happens that that paper is about the same size as the base on this one. So that rule of thumb on this container would still work, but with odd shaped containers like this, I would just cut some paper first, just in case. Now I'm gonna add in the drainage layer. In the past, we have used pebbles and we've also used hydrogen. Um, I haven't really tested it enough, but I kind of wonder if the hydrogen kind of acts as a way to hold the water without just having standing water, because these do absorb water, whereas just regular rocks don't. So I'm hoping that this will help provide a little bit of moisture into the container without adding a stagnant pool of water. Now comes the separating screen, ever so carefully. Next, I'm adding in a layer of activated carbon. This is kind of your first step to keeping the terrarium fresh. A lot of the times when it's in a container like this, it doesn't get good airflow. It doesn't have a lot of the same bugs in nature. So sometimes you can have risk with mold. And this activated carbon, when water passes through it, it's going to help filter it and just keep things fresh in here. Now we're gonna put in the substrate mix. We're using the tropical terrarium mix that Serpa Designs has on his channel. And we'll put a link to the video where he makes it and you can make your own. Making this terrarium, we love how this turned out. It has been a lot of fun and kind of a change from some of our other projects where we only use natural stuff, to be able to go out to a store, buy things, and craft the terrarium that we really saw in our head. This terrarium will have a little bit more upkeep, but that's because we plan it a little bit heavier and we plan on opening it up and doing maintenance from time to time on it to keep it looking the way we want it to, even after it grows in a bit.
If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment down below. That really lets us know what your favorite parts of our channel are being, and that way we can get more in touch with what you as an audience enjoy and try to create some more of that content for you. And if you aren't already, subscribe and hit that bell notification. That way you'll know anytime we put out some new projects. See you in the next video. Yeah. Okay. I'm refreshed. Am I kind of...